Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to relate arc length and radius. All right, so let me just draw this picture and maybe um, from this picture you'll believe what I'm going to say here. So this is R and this is theta and this is S. S is the arc length. S is the length of that arc here. And now what would happen if I just tried to multiply the radius by two, which I'm just going to sort of, um, well, see, you can see I didn't do it very well. But if I do that, theta is going to be the same. So the ratio of arc length to a central angle to, uh, to radius of a central angle is constant. So that's a fact. All right, so we define And um, the measure of an angle theta in radians as theta equals s divided by r. All right, so let me just make sure I have this all clear of what's going on here. So, um, S is actually this length right here of that arc, and then here's R is the radians. So we're going to take S divided by R and define that as theta. Um, so therefore, if I multiply both both sides by R, I get S equals R theta. If we use radians as units, then R equals one radian and S is just equal to theta. So let me just point out, uh, let's just see if we can get some example here. Um, well, maybe before I do that, note, note that for a full circle, the arc length is the circumference so for full circle we know that the arc length is circumference and c is equal to 2 pi r so the measure of a full circle is theta equals s over r, which is 2 pi r over r, which is 2 pi. So if I go once around the whole circle, I get 2 pi. I The way I've explained this also is that I can think of um, that if I have an angle and I let r equal one radian, then the circumference is two pi r, so it's two pi times one radian. So that's why I get two pi in the circle. Okay, so 
let's just do an example here that, well, I mean, it's not really an example necessarily. If I go all the way around, I have two pi. Halfway around is pi, and then I get pi over two. So this is half of pi over, pi is pi over two. So this is the measurement in radians. Now, let's take, say, half of that pi over two when I get pi over four. So if I have r equals one radian, then, I mean, what do I mean by labeling this as pi, two pi and pi and so forth? I mean that if I have this as one radian, I take a tape measure that's the units of radians, and I go all around, and I get two, two pi radians. Half of that again, oh no, let me just say half of this is pi over two. So S, the actual length here is half of that, which is pi over four radians. And we say that theta is equal to pi over four. So if I'm looking at radians, those are the same. On the other hand, suppose I'm measuring my circle in, oh, you know, just some different units. Say I have r is equal to two centimeters. And here I have theta is pi over four in radians. So what's s? S is equal to R times theta. I mean, because what I'm going to do is I'm multiplying this by 2. So this is going to be, here's pi over 4. I multiply by 2, 2 centimeters per 1 radian. So I'm going to get 2 times pi over 4 centimeters. And you could simplify that. So the formula is S equals R theta where theta is in radians. I think some people think of radians as sort of tricky and, and it's uh, trying to explain, you know, what exactly it means, but um, it can be tricky. But let's just do this example. Um, find the arc length. Let's say find the length of the arc of a central angle theta equals pi over 3 where the radius is r equals 5 centimeters so the solution is after all that talk not really that difficult s is equal to 5 centimeters times pi over three. So when I write five centimeters, if you want to write units, it's five centimeters per one radian, and then pi is in radians. So that's going to be five pi centimeters. So in, in radians, the, oops, no, five pi over three radians. So in radians, the circle is pi over three radians, but if you, I mean, the arc is in pi over three radians. So if I'm using the units of radians, but if I want to convert to centimeters, I have to look at, well, each radius has five centimeters, which means five centimeters per one radian.